state elections have been held in Uttar Pradesh, also known as just UP, Punjab, Uttarakhand, Goa, and Manipur. The results are important, and an indication before the national elections in 2024. Elections were held, February to March 2022. Elect A more detailed presentation of, states and political parties, will be done in later films. Uttar Pradesh, population, 241 million, would be the world's fifth largest if it were its own country. Where? In northern India. Language, Hindi, with Urdu as additional official. And several local languages. Literacy, 68%. Religions, Hindu 79%, Islam 19%, Sikhism 0.32%, and Christian 0.18%, other 0.22%. Let's look at the results of the election in UP. BJP, which is a Hindu-oriented right-wing party, Bhatia Janata Party which in English becomes the Indian People's Party, if you translate it. They are the winners here with 255 seats. It has gone back a lot, but it still has a clear majority of its own. Because India has one-man constituencies, a few percent up or down can cause it to win many more seats or lose several seats. It is the candidate in each constituency who gets the most votes who wins. Then there's a party called ADS, I'm just giving the abbreviations here. They rely on the Kermi ethnic group. They increase from 9 to 12 seats and cooperate with the BJP. The same applies to NISHAD that they work together with the BJP. They have the support of fishermen and people who live along rivers. They increase from one to six seats. The main opposition party now is SP. It is a type of social democratic party. They won 111 seats. This is up from 47. In fact, they have had their own majority in this state parliament earlier, in 2012. The RLD, a pro-progressive secularist party, increased from 1 to 8 seats. The SPSP, which relies on lower classes, increased from 4 to 6 seats. INC, the Indian National Congress is this old party that ruled India for a long time from the beginning. They were reduced from 7 to 2 seats. They had a lot of seats in the past. So, they're almost disappearing here. JSDL, which is against caste-based policies and wants everyone to be counted equally, got two seats. The BSP, which, on the contrary, supports the lower castes and minorities, won one seat but had 19 seats in the last election, in 2007, they had their own majority in this parliament. So, in India, politics can swing quickly. Punjab Population, 27 million Where? Northwest India Languages, 89.8% Punjabi and 7.8% Hindi Literacy, 71.4%, religions, Sikhism 58%, this is the only state this religion is in majority. Other religions, Hindu 38%, Islam 1.9%, Christians 1.2%, others 0.9%. Punjab's election was a big surprise. It wasn't expected that it would be such a huge success for AAP. AAP translated into English becomes Common People's Party. They started as a local party in Delhi a few years ago. There, the AAP has managed to gain its own majority, 
in that parliament for the Delhi area. Now, in Punjab they went from 20 to 92 seats. They will have a majority and will rule Punjab now. The old Indian Congress party, which we talked about just for the UP election and which was in central government for many years from independence, and until recently. They fell sharply from 77 seats, which were their own majority to 18 seats. You could say that AAP seems to be taking over the role that the Congress party previously had, in some places. SAD, is a center-right Sikh party. They are backing down from 15 to 3 seats. The BJP, which is in the central government, won 3 seats. The BSP, which relies on low castes and minorities, went from 0 to 1 seat. Uttarakhand, up in the Himalayas. Population, 10 million. Where? Northern India, and was separated from Uttar Pradesh few years ago. Languages, Hindi 43%, and Hindi is the official language here, Garwali 23%, Kumoni 20%, and many more local languages. Literacy, 78.8%, religions, Hindu 83%, Islam 14%, Sikhism 2.2%, Christian 0.4%, other 0.4%. The BJP, the Hindu-oriented party that sits in the central government, ruled this state previous term. They are allowed to continue to govern but with 10 seats fewer, went from 57 to 47 seats. But still well above the 35 seats that create their own majority. The old Congress party, for once, went up in this election from 11 to 19 seats. The BSB, which relies on low castes, won two seats. And independent candidates, who do not belong to any party, took two seats. Goa, the state many tourists know well, this territory was for a long period a Portuguese colony. Only in the late 1960th it was taken back by India. Population, 1.45 million. Where? West India, south of Mumbai, the city that is also known as Bombay. Languages, Konkani with 66% is the official language, Marathi 10.8%, Hindi 7.6%, Kannada 5.6%, Literacy, 87.4%, Religions, Hinduism 66%, Christians 25%, Islam 8.3%. The BJP, the Hindu-oriented party that sits in the central government, picks up half of the seats. 20 out of 40. This was an increase of 7 seats. It had already governed the previous period, but then in cooperation with other parties, now they got almost own majority. In this election, the Congress party has fallen from 17 to 11 seats. Independent candidates won three seats. AAP, the Common People's Party, for the first time here, took two seats. MGP, which relies on lower castes, decreased from three to two seats. Please note that this party ruled this area after the Portuguese left the Goa. The CFP, a regionalist party, has been reduced from three to one seat. And RGP, an anti-immigrant party, won one mandate. Manipur, the state with border to Myanmar, earlier known as Burma. Population, 2.85 million. Where? Northeastern India. Languages, Maitai, 53%, and English are official, 
however hardly anyone speaks English as their native language. The reason is that the area has many languages. As it is a tribal state. The many other tribal languages includes Fadu, Tankal, Pula, Rongme and many more. Literacy, 87.4%, Religions, Hinduism, 41%, Christian 41%, Islam 8.4%, Sanamahi 7.8% and many more. Notable that there is a small Jewish population. DNA tests found that the women, but not the men, had partially similar DNA to the Jewish population in Israel. Exactly how it is connected is unclear. However, the group of is very small, especially since Israel brought home many of these Jews to Israel. Manipur, the result of the election, the Hindu-oriented BJP, went from 21 to 32 seats. They will then get their own majority. The NPP, a national ethno-regionalist party, increased from four to seven seats. JD, a socialist secular party went from zero to six seats. The Congress party crashed down from having almost its own majority with 28 seats down to five seats. The NPF, an ethnic party of the Naga people, increased from four to five seats. Independent candidates won three seats. The KPA, the Kuki People's Party, went from zero to two seats. The BJP, which controls India centrally, has strengthened its positions. The original Congress party, is losing its grip on the voters. This is how these five elections can be summarized. This course is produced in English and Swedish. Select the one that's useful for you. New episodes to be added from time to time. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, so you get the updates when there are new films, in this course.